Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question 387. That is, what is this S in HTTPS stands for? As you can see here, HTTPS. What does this letter S in HTTPS stands for is a question. Let me answer. So what is the letter S in HTTPS protocol stands for? So a lot of people may be thinking that in simple terms, S stands for security. Okay. When you compare HTTPS protocol with HTTP protocol, what is the difference? Security. HTTP protocol doesn't have the security. Okay. Right. This is what happens, right? In general, if you are using the HTTP protocol, if, you're, if your web application, whatever the web application, let's say this is your laptop. Okay. Let's say this is your laptop, guys. In your laptop, you open one browser, say Chrome browser or whatever the browser. In that browser, you open one application URL, which is using HTTP protocol, HTTP colon double slash like this, okay? Tutorials, uh, ninja.com slash one application, demo application I'm taking, okay? So this is your laptop. You can also call that as a client. The moment you perform any operations on this uh, application, right? What happens? The request will be sent to the server. A request will be sent to the server. This is a request. Over what this request will be sent, or, uh, sent to the server? Over the internet, over the web, okay? over the internet. Uh, using this HTTP protocol, which runs on the port 80, uh, will send a request to the server. Okay. So here, this is the tutorials in the server. Tutorials Ninja server application server. Okay. Where the actual code of the application is available here. Where the actual code of the tutorials in the application is uh, written in some programming language like Java, Python, C sharp, etc. Okay. Uh, fine. Now, this is a server. This is a client. And the la this laptop may is maybe in one location. Let's say my laptop is in Hyderabad, uh, India at this moment. Uh, but this uh, server machine may be in Singapore. But how this uh, operations that you are performing on this application are happening? Because the moment you are performing the operations on this application, every time the requests are being different type of requests are being sent to this uh, server in the Singapore over internet so fast. And the server is giving you some response. Okay, in, in back, as a result, server is giving you processing, uh, uh, running some code or web service, whatever it is you can call, and it's giving you a response back over the same internet. Okay, this request and response in case of HTTP, okay, are happening over insecure in an insecure manner or happening in a secure manner. That means, let's say here for one of the reason you entered username, email address. You entered email address uh, and uh, password in order to log into the application. Here, password is a sensitive, sensitive thing. Here, in this example, when you are trying to log into this application, your password is a sensitive thing that no other person should know other than this particular user who is trying to log into the application, right? So, this password, for example, this password is 12345. In this case, what happens is over the internet, okay. Whenever you, are, you click on the login button, the moment you click on the login button, this email address password will be sent along with this request over the internet in an insecure manner means as it is, it will be sent. 12345 will be sent as it is. And server will receive 12345. That's fine. But the problem here is while this 12345 password, which is a sensitive information, is in transit during this request, okay, the hackers can do eavesdrop. We generally call that as eavesdrop means uh, listening. Okay, they can listen to whatever the communication that is happening between the client and server. Uh, hackers will use some kind of different tools, right, uh, which can intercept this uh, request and can capture this data. If the hacker is able to capture this data, hacker will come to know about your email address and password. And, uh, you know, right, will take advantage of your login. Not only email address, password, guys. For example, if you are doing some operation on this application where you are submitting the credit card details, uh, credit card uh, details and other uh, last three digits, uh, you know, right, uh, security uh, pins and all those stuff. All this will be transmitted as it is over HTTP. Okay. As it is, they will be transmitted here. No encryption, no decryption. Here, no security, guys. No encryption, no decryption. Okay. So that's the problem with HTTP. Okay. That's the problem with HTTP. If, if I take you an example for HTTP, here is an example, guys. For example, this is uh, tutorialsinja.com slash demo, which is not secure which is a not secured, right? Okay, so here, uh, if I copy this URL here, why it is not secured? Because it is using which protocol? HTTP protocol, okay, which transmits the data, that is request and responses, which are communication happening between the client and server is happening over insecure 
insecure manner it is happening where the data is sent as it is and hacker is able to grab the data okay if drop and have grab the data but if you go with uh, some other applications like amazon.com etc if you go to this amazon.com you see you will see a pad symbol here it's the browser is now not saying anything as not secured here like the previous application but here the browser is say is showing a pad icon click on the pad icon connection is secured it is saying click on that certificate is there it's saying the connection is secured okay and certificate is there here okay all these things uh, will be clear for you in the previous sessions also i covered all this stuff but let's uh, let me cover this okay so here here if you have a client again the laptop and here we have the server and if you are accessing amazon.com in one of the browser let's say chrome browser or whatever it is okay amazon amazon.com okay this is https right https okay which runs on the port number 443 this is your laptop okay uh, we can call your my lap let's say my laptop it we can call it as a client okay your browser which is browsing this secured application right is a client okay request will be sent response will be sent but here what what's the difference here also server is there okay uh, amazon server is there at different location at remote location amazon server the code of this amazon application is available here that's fine okay the request will hit the appropriate code and code will run but here request and responses are happening over a secured layer okay that is http ps here everyone thinks that is stands for secured that's why the communication between the client and server is happening over the secured layer or they will think that it stands for secured they think a lot of people think that it stands for secured but how how did the name https came is a different thing guys okay anyhow the concept is all about security it, it is secured and all here how the security happens is encryption and decryption encryption and decryption guys okay via the encryption and decryption the security happens for example here you are trying to log in using you give you some email address and you give some password what happens in case of https is let's say password is 1235455 uh, 12345 for example this 12345 will not be sent as it is okay if, uh, it will be encrypted guys so during the transit okay during the transit that is communicating to the server 12345 will be converted to some other thing like this okay uh, that no one will understand okay what is this so even though if the hacker tries to if drop okay this particular information okay the hacker will not be able to decrypt this particular thing so easily okay the hacker will not be able to decrypt convert this back to the one two three four five Hack hacker will believe that this is a password but uh email and password and but hacker will not be able to use it because this is not the real password or real email okay and it got encrypted encrypted into some format okay even email also will be encrypted password also will be encrypted so but hacker hacker uh, in order to get the actual password need to decrypt it but server only can decrypt okay so here at the server side we have the decryption we have here we have private and public keys using which uh encryption and decryption will happen okay this is a case of https but here everyone thinks because of this encryption decryption using https s s stands for secured everyone thinks but s e s stands for security is not 100 percent true guys okay this is what is the thing if you go to the uh, if, if anyone in the interview asks you like what what is in https stands for immediately a lot of people will answer saying that s stands for security okay but that is not the 100 percent answer so Though, though the meaning is indirectly come as security, but it's not the S stands. S is not actually means for security, guys. S is security, but it's not really security, okay? So S came from this certificate known as SSL certificate, okay? Earlier days, guys, okay? Not now. Earlier days, when um, when uh, HTTP up kind of applications got transferred into the HTTPS kind of applications, where HTTPS protocol was said as secure, right? So to make that uh, protocol convert from HTTP to HTTPS, okay, the application developers used to install SSL certificate in the server. The server, they have to install a certificate known as WIS certificate for olden applications, not latest applications. In the olden applications, they have to install a certificate known as SSL certificate. Okay, these certificates will be sold by the different companies, guys. There are different companies which are selling these SSL certificates. What this SSL certificates will do, for example, here, when I click on this pad icon, connection is secured. There is certificate, right? Certificate is valid. So uh, in the olden application, not in now, now Amazon is not using that SSL. Okay, this certificate is not SSL anyhow. This is the latest certificate. Uh, olden days, when the applications used to be there, the certificate SSL was enough. Okay, it was way, way secured at the time. Okay, so what they have done is they have made HTTP S is equal to here is guys. Okay, there is missing HTTP S is equal to HTTP plus http plus ssl they thought like this but everyone thought s stands for security okay actual 
reason why S came here in HTTPS is it stands for SSL, guys. Okay, secured socket layer. S stands for what? SSL stands for secured socket layer. Okay, so since the secured socket layer is starting with S, so, so they converted HTTP to HTTPS, but everyone thought that S is security. That is not 100% too, guys. S stands for SSL. SSL means secured socket layer. Okay. SSL is an old type of certificate, guys, uh, which is no longer used by any of the application websites to make them secured by installing it. Okay, latest applications are not using it. If you use SSL means uh, the hacker who is actually here in between, right? It is very easy for the hacker to decrypt that, okay? The hacker, once uh, the hacker comes to know that uh, this encryption happened because of the SSL certificate installed at amazon.com or something, hacker now has uh, enough tools to decrypt it easily, okay? So that's why the certificates keep changing, okay? So after SSL, the latest certificate that came into the market is TLS. TLS is latest, guys. Okay, as for now, TLS at 2022, TLS is latest. And in TLS also, different versions are coming. 1.1, 1.2, like that version, different versions are coming. So uh, the tools are growing with the hacker, and at the same time, the versions are increasing. This SSL, TLS, all the certificates will, will have some algorithms written, guys. Algorithms written, which will encrypt and decrypt in such a way that it should become very difficult for the hacker, hacker to decrypt these passwords or uh, sensitive data like credit card, etc. That's what is the purpose of the certificates, guys. Okay. So these applications, uh, this application like Amazon will purchase these certificates. Okay. Will purchase these certificates from different uh, sources. Like, uh, uh, for example, this certificate is uh, sold by DG at uh, Global CH G2. Okay. It's sold by that. Okay, it, is it an SSL or uh, is it an SS, uh, SSL or TLS? I told you right, this is the latest application, so it doesn't use SSL. But if you still want to find out, okay, uh, uh, certificate sec, uh, sec, security certificate used by websites. Okay, how to find? How to find? Like if you search here, you will get some websites, guys. How to check? Uh, a, there was some DG something. Okay. Uh, DG something I'll write DG here. Let's see whether anything will have will come. Yeah, DG cert. Okay. SSL certificate checker is there. Uh, here you just give the domain name www.amazon.com as given in this example, right? Just give that and click on check server. You will get the details whether it is using a SSL certificate or TLS certificate. You see, it is using the TLS certificate, guys. Okay, okay, TLS certificate, and uh, you can dig deep into this, guys. Okay, you see TLS certificate. Who is the company who is issuing this certificate, and all these things are coming. Okay, so TLS certificate, TLS, yes, issuer, and all those stuff. Okay, fine. Like this, you can find more information about this uh, kind of certificates used by the applications uh, by entering into the DG cert and all those kind of websites, okay? But here what happened nowadays was earlier, SSL it stands for SSL guys, okay? So now what happened is, now the latest applications are using TLS. And TLS also, I told you, right? Uh, we, we do have versions in TLS, TLS 1.1, 1.2 and so on, okay? Now HTTPS is equal to the latest uh, version of HTTPS is equal to HTTP plus TLS, okay? But here S stands for, you can say that S stands for Security in the form of certificate known as SSL or TLS. Okay, you can you can you can explain like that, guys. Okay, don't simply uh, straightforwardly answer saying that S stands for security. No, don't say like that. Okay, S stands for security, but with the help of certificates like SSL, TLS, the security is achieved. Okay, hence HTTPS. Here S stands for SSL actually, not security. But SSL is indirectly providing the security using encryption decryption. But nowadays, no one is using the oldest uh, certificate like SSL, the latest version of. Uh, 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 certificates came into picture uh, that applications are installing to make their sites even more secure and uh, make the life of the hacker more difficult uh, where the hacker should not be able to decrypt uh, the uh, sensitive data so easily, okay? The latest versions, if you keep on going with the latest versions, right, it will become very difficult for the hacker to decrypt, okay? So, fine, TLS is the latest certificate, okay? That uh, latest applications are using. Now, hope guys, you understood what exactly is S in HTTPS stands for. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.